before understanding uh, how any of the machines actually learn something we need to understand how do we ourselves as humans learn something because definitely you know uh, more than uh, let's say 5 year old uh, you definitely know less than let's say most of the phd's in certain areas in that particular domain and that is because you have had more learning than the kid right so the key thing that we need to make sure that we understand here is that how does that learning happens for example uh, let's say that i point to you uh, i point at, at the sofa at my home okay and i say and ask you that okay what do you think this particular thing is okay if i have a particular set like this okay and uh, there's sitting area here and this sort of a structure is there and i'll ask you what is this you will be saying that okay this is a sofa okay even if you haven't seen the sofa in my house you will be when you see it for the first time most likely you will be able to tell that this is a sofa okay uh, if you put it in front of someone who hasn't seen a sofa in their life before they might not be able to tell it okay so that is something that distinguishes uh, between these two that definitely the people who haven't seen any of the sofas before will not be able to tell it so that's there that's something we take for granted if you haven't learned something you don't know it right but for the people who have learned uh, what a sofa is they might have seen let's say 100 different sofas in their life so far but they haven't seen this particular one but they were able to tell this particular thing is a sofa so how are you able to detect whether this particular thing is a sofa or not if you have never been told that this is one or not okay so that particular thing is based on our prospect of something called as features or what we uh, for most of the students the characteristics or the properties of different things right so what we see in any of the objects okay is uh, uh, it's basically the features for example uh, let's say that uh, i draw something okay i'll ask you what this thing is and uh, before even i finish this drawing most of you will say this is a car okay maybe i'll just uh, keep drawing it and i'll say that okay see this is uh, let's say hot dog burger or something like that but when i actually drew this particular thing okay when i drew something like this you knew that this is a car because this sort of a shape is something that the cars have and you saw me drawing some wheels here okay so when you see this sort of a structure and a wheel you say that okay this is a car this is definitely a car if i make this particular structure something like this and then i make some wheels you'll say no this is a bus now this is not a car anymore so you have not learned to see exactly the size length all these things you have just learned okay uh, there are a couple of features in a bus like it's a rectangle sort of a thing with wheels right so you have assigned this sort of a pattern or this uh, feature set set of features into something in your head called as bus okay even if i sh uh, show you a batmobile for the people who understand what this is uh if i let's say have some sort of a dark batmobile uh and people who haven't seen any or know what a batmobile is they will never say this is a batmobile they will just say that it's a weird kind of a car right so based on what we have learned so far what we actually uh, used to tell what a particular object is the very first thing that uh, all humans all babies actually learn uh, to recognize is that they learn to classify uh, things objects right so this sort of a thing is actually learned through features okay so this is something that the computer also learns and that is why we need to focus here is that we don't actually teach a computer every single image okay and here i'm assuming that you know that your computer can actually look at a particular image and tell you today that what exactly that object is right so it doesn't actually know all the single pictures okay so i'll take an example of what uh, google did uh, during i think holi and diwali did around both the times so what it did is that okay show me a picture show me a photograph of something which is related to diwali and i will give you a uh, i think it was a picture or some sort of a symbol now what happens is that it hasn't seen all the diyas in the world what it has seen is that okay if there's a structure like this and there's a lot of brightness coming out of it it's a diya okay that's why i used my uh, mobile phone flash to make sure that the system actually understand this thing as a dia because it was not very well uh, trained so the system that google used was what very smart okay it was like a 3 year kid if i tell told him that okay my mobile flash was a uh, dia it would accept that okay so that is what exactly happens with the machines as well we have to tell the machines what exactly 
a particular set of items. If I show him, let's say, 100 pictures of a car, and uh, let's assume that I ask him to learn what a car looks like from these 100 pictures, and there's some machine learning process going on here, he will learn not these 100 pictures, but all the features which are common in these 100 pictures, like it has four wheels or it has a metal body, it has a, a higher curve, whether it's a flat curve, whether it's a circular curve, sort of a curve there, it has an engine, all those things it will learn from the pictures. Okay, you don't have to tell that particular thing. How does it learn all those things? That's what entire machine learning is all about. But it doesn't learn the picture itself, it learns the feature out of those pictures. Okay, so that particular thing we need to remember, right? Uh, okay. The last thing that we need to take an example of when we are saying uh, we are learning features is that what exactly features are. Okay. So features actually depend on the example we are talking about. Okay. For example, uh, if I take, uh, tell me, I want to differentiate between a chair and a sofa, or let's say a chair, a plastic chair and a steel chair. Okay. If I want to differentiate between these two, uh, it's a bit hard because uh, they all have four legs. Uh, they can have any shape. So what I'll see is that, okay, tell me the material. Okay. Uh, if you uh, can tell me the color, because most of the uh, steel ones will not actually have a yellow color or a brown color. Most of the wooden or plastics one will have uh, the yellow color, red color, those sort of colors. The most of the steel ones have either black or blue sort of a color. Okay. So I will ask for the color, the material, the weight of the chair. Okay. Looking at these things, I may be able to distinguish between these two. Okay. I have to think a lot because these two are very similar. Similarly, if I ask you that, okay, uh, tell me how will you differentiate between a, a chair and uh, let's say, what I say, uh, something that is not related at all. Something like a chair and uh, just a second, I lost the, yeah, yeah. So let's say I have to differentiate between a chair and a human. Okay. So I can easily differentiate. I mean, chair has features like four legs. Okay. Uh, humans have two legs. Okay. Uh, chairs are usually three or four feet. Humans are mostly five to seven feet. Uh, chairs have weight like uh, two kg to five kg. Humans are some anywhere from 20 to 100 kgs. So based on those, I can easily differentiate. I can say that they have a face. It has nothing like that. They have uh, two hands. Okay, uh, they have eyes, they have uh, hair, all those things. So it's easier to differentiate there because there are a lot of differentiable features among them. But still, all these things are future features of a human and all these things are features of a chair. So the computer actually learned these numbers, the four, the three, the two, all those numbers because it can only understand numbers, right? So any feature that we actually try to see or what ideally a feature should be is that how to differentiate between a door and a window. Okay, this is an example. So how can it help me to differentiate between these two? Okay, so I'll see that the height for a window, it will be less. It will definitely be like uh, three or two to three feet. Uh, for doors, it will be definitely seven to eight, else we'll not be able to cross it. So this uh, two, three and seven, it is what the computer learns. It learns that, okay, this is a window. No, this is something that is two to three feet. Okay, it learns this, it doesn't learn that. Okay, so that is what exactly we need to understand is that the computer doesn't understand the images or the videos or the things that we are able to speak. It converts somehow it converts all those uh, pictures and images and voice all those things into numbers and those numbers have some patterns in it. Okay, because all the uh, windows like almost most of the windows will have two to three, two to three, two to three feet height and all the doors will have seven to eight to ten feet of height, right? So that particular number, the range is what machines learn. That, okay, uh, I have something which I have to know whether it's a door or a window. It'll come to last, okay, tell me the height. So it's 3.1, it's definitely a window. It do not need your picture or some sort of a guidance to do that. We have much smarter brains than the computers that even have machine learning. But for a particular task, it can learn certain features, certain patterns in the features. And when I say feature, features are nothing but specific numbers which have some sort of a semantic value associated with it. Okay. So this is how most of the computers learn. They don't learn with what a window and a chair looks like. They learn that these features, okay. What is the height? What is it made of? Where is it located in the house? How many of them do you have in the house? And if they find a pattern among these, that is what it learns, right? 
So if you have understood this particular thing, you can just uh, for now just take an example of any two stuff, any two things, uh, and ask any five or seven year old if you have somewhere around, even a four year old, anyone who can speak for let let's say for last six months, and ask him to differentiate between these two. How are these two different? If you don't have it, you almost got this particular thing, but that particular experiment might help you understand how even we as humans learn and how does we categorize those things for computers. Okay, so just make sure of one thing that you understand from this particular topic is that computers don't learn the entire thing. They learn the features. Okay, they learn the patterns in the features. They don't even learn features. They learn the patterns in the features. Okay, so every particular object, every particular item for them is some sort of a pattern in some of the features those items have. Okay, so that how do you learn the pattern? That's what machine learning is all about. But it learns the pattern. So if, if, it, if it sees a pattern in the same feature, okay, and if you haven't told it that there are other things having the same sort of feature, it will classify it the same way. Okay, so we'll see more of these, but you just need to make sure that you have understood this particular concept very well because we'll be using it multiple times after this.